Welcome back to the glorious fields of Perthshire. And as you can see, little Mitzi's here. Let's put her out of the way. Um, this is a part two. A part two of my first silver coin of 2024, which took me until early February to find. And on the same day, I then went and got another one. And it is a cracker. An absolute stunner of a silver coin. Now, if this doesn't get a thumbs up and a few more likes and follows for the page, then I don't know what will. I am um, kind of got a bit of a cold going on. I'm going to try and get out and do a little bit of detecting later on today. A bit of fresh air might do me some good. I've hopefully got Simon coming out tomorrow as well, fingers crossed. So that'll hopefully be another dig too. So finally, just a wee apologies because I kind of had a slight bit of clickbait in that last video because I was editing the video with the idea of doing one big long video about an hour or so long with the two silver coins in it and uh, I was away with work, I didn't have great internet and I put the intro of me lying down which you'll see in a wee second um, but I forgot um, that I didn't make it that far so apologies, I don't normally do that but trust me this one is going to be a cracker. When any video starts with me lying down, you know it's going to be a good one. I've had two fantastic coins already, and I've just hit a third. And it is an absolute stonker. A stoter of a coin. Well, the date at the bottom is 1905. So it's definitely 92.5% silver. And that is an absolutely beautiful coin. So that's two stunning coins that I've got today. A George III from, I think it was 1797. And a silver sixpence from 1905. And I'm back on the artillery again. A bit more modern this time though, but a chunky little bullet. Solid lead. It's got these funny little squares on it. But uh, obviously for rifling to help it spin as it's fired but uh, yeah a wee bullet probably I don't know 19 early 1900 something like that we're in the new field it's only taken me five minutes and I've got a first digger or first diggable target I don't know what it is to be honest that looks I don't know is that intentional or not hard to say I was going to say horse brass but not with a dome on the back so I don't know furniture something agricultural but it's a thing a screamer here. 89. Oh. Yep, I think we're out. I think we are out. No. No. Ah, there it is there. Just fallen out. It's a button, is it? Quite a high readout for a button. Oh, it's maybe a rivet. Darn, dropped it. Yep, yeah, I think it is. It's the top off of an old copper rivet. Now, listen to this one. 74.75. It's out now. That's what it sounded like in the hole. I think we've got another coin. I don't understand why a penny is coming through that low. Unless it's not a penny. Oh, it's a button. That's why. It's a huge big button. Right, I'll give it a wee clean up, see if we've got any decoration. Thought I had a coin there. So, just a few feet away from me, is, as ever, is Simon. And he has also just got himself a button, which says GILT. G-I-L-T. So, originally this would have been plated in a bright gold colour. But yeah, unfortunately now... Saying is not gold. Well, if it was gold, you'd have panicked, wouldn't you? you both, I would. You'd have got excited, <laughs> but yeah. I reckon it's probably early, middle 1800s, give or take. End of the Georgian, into the uh, sort of George IV um, era, into er maybe even early Queen Victoria. There you go, son. Well done. And there is mine. Mine is, in actual fact, a tomback. It's just got this funny sort of green colour to it. Normally they're quite silvery, but you can see the fitting on the back there. But... It's a massive big button. A bit earlier than uh, Mr. Simon's, I would say. Mine's probably 1750, 1800 kind of period, but still, it's a bit of history. A couple of hundred 
250, maybe even 300 years old. Yeah, it's a story behind the button. Story behind the button. <laughs> 83 this time. Scratchy until it came out. That, I think, is the target. Might be another buttony thing. Oh, it's got a wee hole in it. No, it could still be a button. Oh, let's just give it a wee rub-a-dub. So yeah, a little square hole in the middle. Decorated? Oh, it is a wee bit actually, I think. Yeah, it is. Well, let's get a closer look at that. And zoom you in a touch. Well, it's definitely a thing. Is it a button of some description? Or is it some sort of horse decoration or leather decoration? A little flex at the top right there of gold. So I think it's been gilded at some point. But I would say possibly leather decoration. But it's got a lovely little rope turned edge on it. And probably Victorian or maybe slightly earlier. So it's a nice thing. If you know, comment below. Definitely another extraction for filming. An ear blowing, in fact, is that it right there on the surface? Oh, it is, is it? Darn, it is. Well, it's a great big thing. Bit of writing on it, I think. Oh well, no, it's, well, it is, but it's got lots of holes in it. But tractor related. A oh, quail. Simon's let out a squeal. What have you got for me, Simon? I think it's a small pipe or no, or no. <laughs> <laughs> it is, is it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what was that? We needed tobacco uh, there, yeah, so what? Is it, a, <laughs> is, it, is it a pipe? A smoking pipe, do you think? No, not sure, not sure. Well, <laughs> I don't know, what's it made of? It's like an alloy, is it? Yeah, it is. Like an aluminium? Kind of, yes, no. Right, no. well, you're no. going to have to... You're going to have to clean that out. Maybe it's for uh, if you're hard of hearing, like, you know, like I talk to you, like, uh, hey, yeah, yeah. Hello, hey Simon, can, can you hear me? me? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll clean yeah. that up and have a look at that later. But if you know, comment below. Yeah, okay. I just came over to show Simon my latest find, which is pretty impressive. And uh, he's still cleaning out his, his smoking pipe. And he handed it to me and said, what do you think then? What is it? And I said, it's a yeah. teapot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can see the shape of the spout. So the body of the teapot would be over here. So it's some sort of alloy teapot, maybe sat on top of a, a range cooker or something like that. But yeah, it's a teapot or certainly for boiling water. Probably Victorian, maybe slightly earlier. But look what I got. Wow. I got another palm, palm guard. So it's lead, fits perfectly in the hand. Look at that. Hence palm guard. And again, this is two in two digs. So uh, I got one of these. <laughs> I think you're putting more mud on it. Um, <laughs> so I got... Some toxic videos yeah, there. yeah, absolutely. So I got one of these uh, last time I was out in the neighbouring field, in fact. So, I mean, could be any age. Could be hundreds of years old. Could be thousands of years old to protect your hand when you're piercing leather. Brilliant. Very ingenious. And often they would use an old shell as a mould. So they'd pour the molten lead into a shell which then formed the shape of your palm. Brilliant. It'd be nice if it was a couple of thousand years old, wouldn't it? One for the museum. This one's sounding good now it's out. 86. Coin potential? No. It's a bit of copper pipe. Oh, dropped it. Well, we've got a really squally shower blowing through just now with sleet and rain and all sorts. It really terrible conditions because they're on the top of a hill for filming but I've just went and pulled out something that's got potential it's got potential initially I thought oh tractor junk but now I'm looking at it thinking is that an arm or a hand is it a statue a broken statue and if it is could it even be silver right I'm going to very delicately well, I'll tell you what, I'm actually I'm going to take a few pictures of this first and then I'll come back to you. My God, what a day of weather we've had today. We've had all the seasons in one, but that is definitely a hand. 100% that is a hand. Now, 
is it silver or a statue or some sort of oh I've dropped it well hopefully it's not too valuable <laughs> um, but I tell you what I'm looking at it thinking could that be silver John drops the priceless uh, relic I might have to edit that out um, oh no it's not solid silver I can see green so it's a, a, a silver plate a copper base silver plate but that has definitely got potential hasn't it alright I'm going to wash this and get back to you right fighting the weather but that is the back you can see copper with silver and that is the other side so it's definitely a figure in robes so it could be a religious figure a figurine, a statue that's broken um, possibly even they've, they've had something in their hand there that's been lost um, just poke that out just to see if it goes all the way through but it does look like maybe yep it does it goes all the way through so they maybe had a little les pick in their hand like that um, but uh, maybe not so I think it's either because of the robes it's either a religious figure or it's Obi-Wan Kenobi but is that ancient? Now I don't want to give away my location but the place name where we are has got chapel in the name and apparently there was a chapel here a way back in the medieval period so let me know in the comments below another one for the museum looks like part of a buckle for Simon I've just come over to show my epic find oh wow oh wow that's a, it's a, a saint so do you think it's a saint? yeah I think so so I thought it could be a religious well yeah yeah a, saint, a religious, a religious statue, statue yeah because yeah, it looks yeah, like a person a, in robes so a saint a religious statue yeah yeah so how old is that Simon do you reckon? I think it's Victorian. Eh? Oh, well, yeah. there we go. Victorian is the guess from Simon. But, well, let me know. Certainly another bizarre finds from the yeah, fields well, of Perthshire. Yeah, well, very well done. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I've managed to get out the wind. There's a, a great big house right behind me. You see those big mature trees directly behind that. There's a big house, which is uh, a great big stately home. I think it's from... 16 or 1700s but i've just spotted an eyes only find yet again look stopper number three ah broken what's well, got writing on it though what does that say gartens gartens well i need to look them up wonder what gartens made but a lovely little stopper almost clear this one though rather than aquamarine and again probably victorian oh there's a rainbow I was able to find out online that this was a bottle of sauce made by a grocer called Frederick Gibson Garton, a green grocer in Nottinghamshire in England. And in 1900, he sold the business to Edwin Moore. And Edwin Moore bought the rights for £150 and renamed it HP Sauce because the sauce was sold in the Houses of Parliament. This is a nice one. Oh, let you see the screen. 85. Does sound kind of coin like. Maybe a great, great big penny. And not very deep. Right. Who have we got? Gorgeous George. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, oh my god, oh my god, that's a silver, that is a big, big silver, oh, you beauty, Simon, Simon's just got a musket ball, my god, I think that's a hammered, Look at the writing, that is, that's a hammered coin. Oh, it's going to be an absolute monster. That is an absolute monster of a coin. I don't believe this. 
I'll wait all this time for a silver coin. I'm just going to wait till Simon gets here. If he ever gets here. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, I don't know if I can wait. He's going to be, he's going, he's going to take him ages. Oh no, he's coming. He's finally coming. All right, I'll get back to you in a second. Here he comes, better late than never. No, no Roman coins, unfortunately. What do you think that is, Simon? Uh, a coin. Ah, silver, silver. You have a silver there. Look at the size of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's hammered. Oh. I think that is hammered. Simon's got something. What have you got? No, just the a bottom of a bottle with something like extra thistle. Yeah, no. it's probably uh, whiskey. Cream? No, probably cream or milk. Ah. Or yogurt or something like well, that. You have? I think oh we've God. got a massive coin, Simon. Hang on. Let's do the reveal. I waited till you got here. Uh, <gasps> oh, oh yes, my yes, God. It's a hammered coin, yeah. <laughs> that is a hammered coin, 100%. It's a shilling. Wow. X. What way is it? That way? Yeah, that way. X11, 12, 12 pence. 12 pence. Well, no, man. Look at it. That is an absolute stoter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wow. man. I was yes. happy. I was happy with a dirty birdie. That's unbelievable. Thank God we're out the wind as well. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, eh? Oh, it's an absolute stunner. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's in nice condition. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's James. Jacobus. Jacobus four. No, I think it's James the sixth. It's Mary, Queen of Scots' son. I think. I don't know if these have a date on them or not, but if there is, we should be able to find it. My God. Wow. What a coin. What a coin. Let's give that a wee dab. Don't worry, I'm not scratching it for anyone who's asking, just patting. What a coin, Simon. And the sun is... The sun is the shining. The sun is shining for the coin. All right, I'm going to give this a proper finish up off camera, but that is an absolute stunning coin. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Probably from the late 16th or early 17th century. Well, I'm so glad that I came up here to get out of the wind <laughs> because otherwise I wouldn't have found this. It is an absolutely stunning coin and the sun has just come out at the right moment to show it off. So it's a shilling, 12 pence. And you've got top left and bottom right. Um, you've got, the th uh, I think, the three lions of England. Uh, top right, you've got the, salta, uh, the, um, the rampant lion of Scotland. Bottom left, you've got the harp of Ireland. My Latin is not what it used to be. Ova Deus Con something Nemo Separat So Deus is God. Separat is, is separate. So something about the king ruling under Christ and, and basically the union of the crowns because this is James the Sixth, and James the Sixth is the one who who joined the crowns of Scotland and England for the first time. So Jacobus, and then I think it will say yep. D G de Gracia. Then it says Mag, which is great, B R I, which is Britain, France, et Hibernia, Rex King. And it looks to me that that's a thistle. And if that is, then that means that coin was minted in Edinburgh, in Scotland, the capital of Scotland. Wow. In fact, in Edinburgh Castle itself, because that's where the coin mint was. Yeah. So Jacobus is James in Latin. X11 is 12 pence. And James ruled Scotland from his mother was forced to abdicate in 1567. He was only 13 months old when he became king of Scotland but he never got to rule until he was 16 or 17 years of age because 
you would have a regent who would rule on your behalf. And he had several regents. So his mother was in captivity in England, um, compliments of her cousin Elizabeth I. And James's grandmother was Margaret Tudor. And Margaret Tudor married King James IV of Scotland. And she was the older sister of Henry VIII of England, the, the Tudors. And when Henry VIII died, obviously there was a bit of infighting. Eventually, Elizabeth, after Mary, Elizabeth I became queen. And she died in 1603, if I remember rightly, without children. She died childless. And that meant that this man here, James VI of Scotland, in 1603 became James I of England. So that was the crowns of Scotland and England in 1603. They were joined for the first time. He was almost blown up shortly thereafter because of the Great Gunpowder Plot with Guy Fox, which I think was 1604. And uh, Guy Fox and a, a group of Catholics planted gunpowder under the Houses of Parliament and tried to blow it up. There's a joke that Guy Fox is the only person ever to enter Parliament with honest intentions. His honest intentions being he wanted to kill everyone. So... 12 pence in, well, well, if it says Mag Brit, then this has to be after 1603. So it's sometime between 1603 and 1625. Well, what a coin. What yeah. could that buy you? Bravo, bravo. I think this, this is 60 pints of beer we've got yeah. here, Simon. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to be carried home tonight. Congratulations. You Thank invite you. me today. A whiskey and so whatever. <laughs> Let's go try and find more. As ever, just spreading out from the fine site. Interestingly, Simon, on the way up, uh, just there, uh, he has had three musket balls on the trot over there. Um, this is exactly the same sound as that coin. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. One more, and then we'll get the pinpointer out. Nope, we're out, I think. Yeah, I think we're out. Let's uh, have a look. Oh, exciting. Oh, my pinpointer's on. Must have forgot to turn it off in the excitement. Oh, there's something. Ah, oh, what's that? Oh man, oh, God, I thought it was the edge of a coin there. It's too big. Oh, it's a key. <laughs> it's, a, it's a key escutcheon, a door escutcheon. Oh, oh, my heart nearly went again there. Gonna have to go for a wee lie down. Well, it's probably off a front door or a treasure chest filled with James VI coins. Here's another signal. That was the coin just there. Another one similar to the coin. I've had so far is aluminium and bits of coppery brass. Oh, big stone, I think. Oh no, we're out. We are out. Not sounding so good now, though. Nope, another great big bit of brass or copper. Darn. There is an outside chance that I've got another ring. Maybe. It could be. Definitely looks like it's got a chunky bit on top and it's got a band. But I mean, it could be some sort of machinery or something. But I hope to goodness that my uh, microphone battery didn't run out when I found the hammered coin. I just looked down there to film this. I was chatting away and I looked and saw that the receiver was off. Um, and I think I've got a ring, another ring. Now, if the volume doesn't work, if there's too much wind interference, then I will uh, I will do a voiceover. But I do have a spare, but unfortunately it's in my bag, which is at the bottom of the hill. Well, that is a ring. 100%. Simon's got a coin as well. So, it's all kicking off. Clean this up and get back to you. Oh, is it broken? Oh, I think it might be. I think it might be broken. Here's Simon's little coin. He's got himself a little half penny. Date at the bottom, 1893, which tells us yet again it's Alexandrina, or as everyone else knows her, Queen Victoria. 
So her young head is there, looking to the left hand side. I think she became queen at about 18 years of age. Married very young, had, was it eight children? And populated most of the European households in terms of monarchies. So there you go, nice wee coin, Simon. Get that in with your yeah, your in, arsenal of finds. Yes, yeah, yeah. It can go in a war. Yeah, well, with all the old yeah, musket balls. It certainly can. Right now, look at this one, folks. Look at that. Amazing that one. I've cleaned eh? that up. It is broken uh, there. It's yeah. damaged, but it's a ring. It's a big man's ring. I know you. Oh, I've said it again. The Lord of the Rings. So, I have no idea how old that is, but it looks pretty old to me. I don't know if it's flowers on top. I think it is. I think it's flowers. So surely a man's ring for the size of it. But then if it's flowers, maybe it's a lady's ring. Date wise, I have no idea. So if you know, comment below. But that could be three, four, five hundred years old. Maybe. Yeah, nice find. Not near the coin, I should add. I'm a good 50 metres away. And look, we've even got the saltire flag of Scotland in the sky. Well, the hammered coin's one thing, but your day is never complete until you get a doorknob. Gone a bit quiet for the last 45 minutes or so, but we've got another horse brass. So it would have been bright gold colour mounted on a leather saddle or part of the reins. But again, probably 18, 1900. I just spotted that on the surface and I thought, that looks like a thimble. How come that didn't give me off a target? And I put the detector over it and it still didn't give me a target. It's plastic. I never knew such things existed. Plastic thimble, so probably not particularly old. 50, 100, oh, dropped it. 50, maybe 100 years at best. 80 on the nose and I think I've got a musket ball and we do yet another one. Definitely a record day and clearly a lot going on up here. Plenty of guns, if nothing else. Okay, the microphone is back on. I'm hoping for good reason. Because right there is a screamer of an 88 to 90. Is it going to be triple silver? Well, it's very loud and it's still saying 90. It could be the dreaded old aluminium. Or it could be Georgian coinage even. Ah, or a bit of copper pipe. Is that it? Is that a stone? No, oh, that's a stone. Well, it is round, but it's not a coin. What is it though? Another horse brass? Oh, it's a weight. I think. Well, possibly. Let's get the wee tool out. Find out. It feels quite heavy. I wonder if that could be a lead. Or maybe it's just heavy brass. Uh, not sure at the moment. Right, I'll clean it up and get back to you. I'm really not sure on this one. It could be a weight. It could be some sort of early horse decoration. But I think it's lead. Or a lead alloy. But looks like it's maybe had a bit of iron in the middle. So maybe it was a... A hanging weight, or maybe it's a horse decoration, but if you know, comment below. Probably two, three hundred years old. We're inside the last half hour, and I've got a little button. But uh, again, probably two, three hundred years old, but let's see if we can dig out anything else before time's up. What a day it's been so far. Not been a lot of targets recently, that's us heading back towards the car. That's a nice 84 though. Um, what a day it's been and to be honest we've still got a bit of time to go yet so maybe time for more ancient relics or the lumps of lead which is what that one is ach well lots and lots of lead up here so always a good sign of old habitation we haven't really covered a lot of this field as you can see nearly at, dark, at darkness but uh, I'm trying to do sort of top, middle and bottom, just sort of spread myself around, see what else might be here. Um, very nice, 87, 89. Still sounding good. 91, 92. 
The silver is not out of the question. What a day this has been. What a day. Well worth waiting all of January for. Somewhere there. It is. Oh, it's round. It is round. And it is a coin. I might really struggle to get enough light to to show it, but if it's a 1991, it's surely got to be Georgian. Georgian copper. Camera struggling to even focus, but I'll give it a clean up and see if I can get it on camera. Okay, we've had to put the torch on, which I think is probably just going to make it impossible to see, to be honest. But, well, there's something on there. There's something on there, but can't make it out here. So we're going to have to wait till we get home. But I think it's either going to be a Georgian coin or it's going to be a Georgian token. I think it's a token, actually. I can see St Andrew's on there, I think. There's a cross with a figure standing in between. So I think it's a, I'm sure it's an Edinburgh token. And it'll probably carry the date of 1797, but hopefully that cleans up a bit. And uh, I'll be able to show you it when I get home. I've got something else. You're going to have to drag me off this field. <laughs> Maybe a buckle. Maybe a cap badge, actually. Oh, it could be. I think that could be a cap badge, a military badge. Oh, still don't have enough light. Right, I'm going to have to leave it, put it in my pocket. And I'll show you it when I get home, so don't go anywhere. Might be silver gilded. Oh, so exciting. Don't want to go home. I can't get moving for targets. Solid 86. Surely a, a penny. Or another musket ball, maybe. We're out. It's like... Metal detecting by torchlight. In some places they call that night hawking. <laughs> well, there's something. Well, what is it? It's maybe... It's lead. It's maybe a, a saddle badge. Or some sort of decoration, a button even. Well, it's got a hole in the middle. But, again, I'm going to have to clean this up when I get home. So, don't go anywhere. Alright, I think I'm going to have to leave it there. When you dig up items and you can't actually see them um, I know it's lead because it's it's heavy but other than that I've no idea it's certainly round in shape so it could be something so we'll have a look at that when we get back home again all right Simon's last target I've unplugged unplugged the microphone hopefully it's not too bad no. big lump of lead yes. let's have a wee look just in case God, it's a big lump of lead. God, it's almost like an axe shape. Well, oh, how about we look at that when we get back, Simon? It's an unusual shape. It almost looks like a broken axe head, but made of lead. Right, we'll have a look at that when we get home, but we're going to leave it there, folks. Not surprisingly, because it's pitch black. People will be looking at us like we're crazy. The police will end up coming out. Right, <laughs> let's go home and have a look at these phenomenal finds. I'm going to record now. Yep. Yes, that's fine. So that is us back home. And uh, what a day. Incredible. So let's have a wee look at the best of the finds. Home sweet home. And look at that for a haul. Unbelievable. A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Although that one is a token. This one here, but we'll get to that in a minute. So there you go, how about that for a collection of finds. Got off to a fantastic start with a little eyes only, which is a little carbon pencil, probably for writing on slate. Probably Victorian in date. My first metal target digging was this little badge, which has got an anchor at the bottom. And it's got what looks like three stars at the top and then a line across, so I'm guessing it's naval. But if you recognise it, then let me know. My guess would be probably 18 or early 1900s. Um, I got a whopping 10 coins, including one token. Well, some of the coins are not really 
they're, no. be they're better than yours. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, no, I mean the crusty one. So there is a little token. This is a an, a token which I think is from Edinburgh, but I'm going to look that up and add it in at the end. And I'm sure it carries the date of 1797, but you'll see the symbol of St Andrew with a cross there on the front, the patron saint of Scotland. Um, so we've got George V, Queen Victoria, Queen Victoria, uh, not sure, not sure. A beautiful, absolutely stunning George III. Look at that for uh, condition. That's a nice coin, yeah. That's a beautiful coin. And the other side is even better. Look at Britannia. 1799, not 97. 1797, I think it's a half penny, but a really beautiful coin. Um, I also got this stunning little silver, which, to be quite honest, I thought that was my day done in terms of great finds, but they kept on coming. But it's Edward the Seventh, and it's a silver sixpence. Oh, that way up. Silver sixpence, and it's got the date at the bottom of 1905. Beautiful coin. Beautiful coin. Right, but we all know what we're looking for. And that's the star. This is the star. What a coin that is. So as I say, at the top, I think at the very top there is a thistle, which means that this coin would have been minted at Edinburgh Castle, if I remember rightly. And uh, as I say, the shield on the back, the Latin inscription, and on the other side is, ooh, that way around, is James the Sixth with X11, 12 pence. So James the Sixth of Scotland, James the First of England, to give him his title there, and the son of Mary Queen of Scots, took the throne of Scotland at 13 months, 13 months of age, 13 months of age, 13 months old, should I say, oh. and um, well, some other wee weird and wonderful finds, um, <laughs> none more so than this <laughs> little fella, so as I say, it's either a religious figure or it's Obi-Wan Kenobi, because they're wearing a robe. Simon thinks it's a saint, maybe. Yeah, I think maybe Saint it's Andrew Saint or Saint John. Saint John, <laughs> saint John named after me. Um, and I got at the end a little bit of lead's actually a pancake musket ball. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten musket balls, and also that which is almost like a musket ball. Um, maybe it is, and it's just shaped with the barrel because it was a wee bit big. And then also a very nice little bullet as well with some ruled edging on it. Uh, a couple of eyes only finds, got a couple of glass stoppers, so that's three I've had now off those fields. Um, this one is, um, what was the name on it? No, oh, I can't read it now. Gantons? C-A-N C-A-R Oh, who knows? Anyway, my eyesight isn't that good. Uh, I got another palm guard, another lead palm guard, which could be very ancient, potentially. Um, and all in all, well, what a day. What a day. Ah, yeah, and this ring, too. Oh, the ring. Yeah, Forgot yeah. the ring. Yeah, the ring, of course. Got that towards the end. So, definitely a flower at the top. I think there's another flower at the bottom. Um, it is broken at the top corner there. Not going to play about with it too much, but... It's another big bronze or copper alloy ring and surely got to be many hundreds of years old. So lots of items there that I'm going to need you all to come back with some great identifications for me. But let's have a wee look at what Simon found. And here are <laughs> Simon's best finds and three <laughs> golf balls, which yeah, unbelievable. Which she's really happy golf. with. He loves no, his golf no, balls. No, no, no. It's just um, keep keep finding balls, uh, golf balls all the time. There you go. So he got a, a spout of a teapot. Um, he got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven musket balls, and I have to say, almost all of them look unfired. Well, we can have a, a fight. We yeah. can have a fight, but I've got ten, and you've only got seven, so. Well. <laughs> Might end badly. Um, a wee button for Simon and another one, a wee domed one with a gilt on the back. And then a little tomback, which uh, is missing its loop. He got his cat. <laughs> There's his cat and a padlock. It did look a bit like a cat. No, it, it looks, yeah. Um, you got your fancy Mid little... For Mitzi. <laughs> fancy little... Mitzi's my cat's name, in case anyone's wondering what he's talking about. Um, you got this little lead bag seal 
which uh, fancy theme though which yeah fancy so i'll look that one up as well um you got one legible half penny which is queen victoria you can see her there looking to the left and the date of 1893 and then a very unfortunately toasted coin which we thought was george the second that's based shame. on a head but no, the best condition, not like, the best like condition. yours. Yeah, mine are far, far, far better, far superior. So there you are. That is the extent of Simon's finds, and this is just a fragment of the amount of junk that we built, uh, that we dug. Um, there's probably three times that much still in my car to come out. So, there we go. Not bad at all. Ah well, and then you have this. Well, no, sorry. <laughs> Hang on, well, I need to talk about this. Uh, yeah, that's a bit. Ah, this, yeah. This is a this is a suspender belt, um, I believe for ladies' suspenders. Simon was getting all in a fuddle about that. What is it doing out in a field, and what was going on? <laughs> I just told him he's he's a bit of a deviant. That's the reason. It could have been an honest and very accidental loss. And this is a picture hanger, so. The hook there at the top, small hook, and that would have been um, a little wire that was attached to the wall. And then from the bigger hook, you would hang your paintings. Nice little oil painting. So there you go. That's it. You happy, Simon? Oh, you've got another coin there. But yeah, yeah that, but it's uh, crusty it's and the, the worst coin in the in the planet. Yeah, it's one of the worst. You can put that one in your iron brew. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. What a day. What a day. I hope you enjoyed having a wee look up close at some of the finds. I'm sure I'll come back to some of them. Um, but a really phenomenal day. Three fantastic coins for me. The Edward, the George III, and that stunning great big silver shilling. So, yet another trip to the museum, or another items to report to the museum. Uh, Simon, well, you well, didn't do... I, I had... The, the last day was much better than this one. Well, but, you uh, triumphed last time. Uh, yeah, I didn't get the silver today. And anyway. I got the silver today. So, there you go. Two bits of silver. At least I'm off the mark for 2024. So, yeah. unfortunately, you're not going to see Simon for a while. Yes, yeah. For maybe at least a couple of weeks. Yeah. So, well... I'm going to miss Metal oh, Detective. Oh, yeah, it's I'm, terrible. I'm going to miss you too. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. So, yeah, Simon's with work and family commitments. We're not yeah. going to see Simon for the next um, two or three weeks, probably. And then it'll depend what I, I'm doing. I will be in spirit with you. Yeah, he'll be there in spirit. It's okay. So, uh, if you like what you've seen and you're not already subscribed, then please hit the button. And hopefully, we'll see you all on the next dig. Take care. Maybe, maybe without Simon. <laughs> no, so no. So take care <laughs> and thanks for watching.